Okay, so for my queso fresco, I'm going to need one gallon of milk, that whole milk that is. So I'm going to turn on the heat to a medium, somewhere between medium, medium, low. It also depends if you're working with gas or electric. So I already have half a gallon in my pot, so I'm going to add the other half. I'm also working with a 6.9 quart pot. And another tip, if you put your milk on the counter and sort of let the chill come off of the milk before you work with it, that also helps. So the name of the game at this point is to warm or heat your milk right before it starts to simmer and boil. Um, a good temp would be 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, stirring so you don't scald the bottom is also something you want to do. Okay, so I have been stirring this and I've had this over a medium heat, medium to medium low heat. It's been about 15 minutes. Now that process might take um, longer if you're working with cold milk, but I had mine setting on the counter for about an hour. So it took about 15 minutes. And again, whatever heat source you're using, that's also a variable to consider. Okay, so my milk is right before gentle boil simmer point. And it is kind of frothy around the edges. There's wisps of smoke coming off the surface. Those are all indications that it's about that time to start adding in the acidity to get the, the milk to separate. My choice of acidity is going to be lime juice. My grandfather made fresh cheese and he used lime juice, mainly because my grandmother could not stand the smell of vinegar. <laughs> so I'm going in with the first quarter cup and continue stirring constantly over the same heat for about five minutes. So that was the second quarter cup and now you can see that it's separating. So another five minutes. Okay, so now I am going to shut off the heat and I'm going to let this set for about 20 to 30 minutes just like this on the stove. Okay, so this is definitely what you want to see at this point. So it's been sitting here for about 25 minutes. I'm going to take it over to my sink and strain it through a cheesecloth and a strainer. So here's what I ended up with, and I'm going to continue squeezing this. It's still, it's still on the hot side, but I'm just going to apply pressure, twist the top, and just squeeze out any moisture that I can get out. So I'm going to open this up, and we're almost there, but here's what you end up with. And I can't tell you right now if you want to taste this. I mean, it's cheesy. It's fresh. But now you'll want to add your salt to this. And that is to taste. I'm going to start with a teaspoon and just work my way up from there. And you'll want to work with clean hands at this point. Get all the cheese. So just break it apart. It's still going to be warm, by the way about a teaspoon and a half, and if I think it needs the other half, I'll add it, but it really is up to you. 
Okay, so I gave it a taste and I am going to go in with the rest of the salt, so. Okay, so here I have my little storage container. Um, this says 950 milliliter container. I guess that's how much liquid this particular container can hold, but it's basically going to work as the mold for my cheese. So I'm going to add it. And you can add it to whatever container you have, square, round, it's up to you. A bowl, that also works. Now to really give this a, a good firm press, I'm going to put the cheesecloth on top and just really pack it in there. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. I'm actually going to cover it. And I'm gonna let this hang out for several hours overnight, maybe over 24 hours, depending how firm you want this, but we're gonna have some bean and queso fresco tacos. That's what we're gonna eat, so into the fridge. Okay, so here's my cheese. It's been in the refrigerator overnight. And I wanna show you how I'm going to eat it today. We have some refried beans. I made a red salsa. Be on the lookout for that recipe video. It's really simple. And I made some homemade fresh corn tortillas. And I will link that recipe video. So let's go ahead and cover these back up for a second here. Take a look at that. So I'm going to take just a butter knife to get an air pocket to help it come out of the bowl. Let's see. Yeah, I think that'll do it. There we go. Okay. So here's my queso fresco. I'm going to cut into it so you guys can see it. There you have it, homemade queso fresco. This is going to go perfect on beans, a little bean taco with salsa. It's very simple, takes me back to childhood, and it's very delicious. And there you have it, something simple, but something oh so delicious. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.